Rectangle for Mac is a free open source window organization and snapping utility that gives users more control over their workspaces in Mac OS. There are two primary ways to use Rectangle. The first is by dragging and dropping windows to snap points on different parts of the screen. This is the option that gives Mac more of a Windows feel. The second method is by using a combination of keyboard shortcuts to quickly move and align windows within your workspace. To get started, you can download Rectangle for free at rectangleapp.com. When you first install it, go to your system settings and then privacy and security, and then accessibility, and make sure access is enabled for the Rectangle app. Also, while in here, if you have multiple monitors, you're going to want to go to Desktop and Dock, and then scroll down to Mission Control, and disable the option that says Displays Have Separate Spaces. This will save you some headaches when maximizing Windows and Rectangle. After you do this initial install, it's a good idea to restart your computer, or the default keyboard shortcuts may not load in properly. All right, now let me show you how it works. You can always access the main menu of Rectangle in the menu bar at the top of your screen. From here, you can click on any of the options and your window will adjust accordingly. With Rectangle Active, you can drag and drop windows to 12 different snap points per monitor. Dragging a window straight to the top will maximize the window, just like on Windows. When using snap points, it's important to remember that it's the position of your mouse that determines where you're going to be snapping to, not the position of the window itself. You can split your display in half by dragging windows to the left side of the screen and to the right side of the screen. You can split your display in thirds by dragging windows to the bottom left side of the screen, to the bottom middle of the screen, and you guessed it, to the bottom right of the screen. You can divide your display in quarters by dragging to the four corners. It may take a little bit of practice to get used to finding the snap points, especially if you're using multiple monitors, but once you get the hang of it, it feels really natural and almost like a built-in feature of macOS. The default dragging and dropping settings work pretty well, but you can always access the rectangle menu, then click on Preferences, and then click on the middle tab to modify the snapping effects. The snap points themselves remain fixed, but you can change what will happen when they're activated. While we're in here, click on the gear tab icon, and if you plan on using Rectangle regularly, it's a good idea to check the launch at login box. All right, it's time to move at lightning speed on Mac OS by mastering keyboard shortcuts in Rectangle. You can easily see all of the default keyboard shortcuts by accessing the Rectangle preferences and then clicking on the first tab. It's important to note that there are actually two default setups available when using Rectangle. The one that comes set up by default is actually called Spectacle, which is the name of the app that Rectangle evolved out of. And then the second option is just called Rectangle. You can change your default settings in the preferences by clicking on the gear icon tab and then clicking on restore default shortcuts and snap areas at the bottom. You'll notice when you click on that, you have the option of choosing which setup you'd like to use. And like I said, by default, it's set up with Spectacle, so that's what I'm going to show for now. But we're going to change that and make things a lot easier here in just a little bit. Looking back at the keyboard shortcuts, we can see that most of them involve combinations of Command, Option, Control, and the arrow keys. Let's take a look at how the defaults work, and then I'm going to show you how to modify these shortcuts like a boss to keep your fingers from getting all twisted. By default, use Command plus the Option key in either the left or right arrow key to split your window to one half of the screen or the other. Command, Option, and the up and down arrows split your screen from top to bottom. One of my favorite uses of Rectangle is to quickly send my current window right over to another one of my displays. You can do this by pressing Command, Option, Control, and then either the left or right arrow key. And then remember, you can always maximize the current window with Command Option F. This is incredibly useful for expanding your workspace and using unused real estate. And we're gonna make it a whole lot easier in just a minute. You can also use Command, Control, and the right and left arrow keys to send the window to the top right or the top left. Using Command, Control, and Shift in the left and right arrow keys will send the window to the bottom right or the bottom left. There are some other less useful default shortcuts as well, but I'll let you take a look at this in the rectangle preferences because I wanna show you how to make all of this a whole lot easier. 
You see, by default on Mac, there are quite a few unused function keys, starting with function F2. And we're going to change some of our unused function keys to the keyboard shortcuts here in Rectangle, but I'm going to leave function F2 open for now. So first we're going to change the next display shortcut to function key F6. We'll change the previous display shortcut to function key F5. And then we're going to change the right half option to function key F4. And we'll change the left half to function key F3, again, leaving function key F2 open for now. So now we can just quickly press the function key in F3 or the function key in F4 to quickly split our screen in half. But we can directly press F5 to send the window right over to our other display. And if we pressed F6, it would move back to the middle, and then F6 again, and it will go to my other display on the right side. I hope that that shortcut alone made this video worth it for you, but there's one more major change that we can make. This one is a bit more complicated. We're essentially going to set up a keyboard shortcut that will pop a Google Chrome tab into a new window, and then we can use our reflection shortcuts to send that window wherever we'd like on our workspace. Yes, it's insanely awesome. So go to the Apple menu, system settings, and then scroll down to the keyboard section. From here, click on keyboard shortcuts and then app shortcuts. Hit the plus icon and from the application dropdown, select Google Chrome from the list. In the menu title field, type move tab to new window. And yes, it is case sensitive. Set this keyboard shortcut to function key F2 and then click done. You should be able to do this with other browsers as well. The browser just needs to have a menu option to detach tabs from a window. And then when you're setting up your keyboard shortcut, you need to make sure that you are typing out that menu option exactly as it's written. Now let's take a look at these new shortcuts in action. So here I am surfing the web and, oh, wow, this looks cool. Function F2 pops in a new tab. Function F5 sends it to my left display. Oh, this one looks cool too. Let's open it up. Function F2, pop it out. Function F6 sends it to my other display. Oh wow, I'm going to need to compare these. Let's open them both up. Go to the new tab. Function F2 to pop it out. Function F3, it's on that side. Click in the other one. Function F2 to pop it out. Function F4 can minimize this one and I've got my two windows side by side. Combined window snapping in Rectangle with the picture-in-picture -picture capabilities of Firefox, and you will never miss a March Madness moment again. If you want to take your Mac optimization even further towards the next level, then check out this video right here, where I set up a brand new Mac account with all of my favorite preferences and settings. If you found the video that you're watching right now helpful, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you want to see more Mac optimization techniques, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Have fun organizing your workspace like never before.